Hi everybody, it's Caroline here from CraftyCarolineCreates.com Today I have a really cute, really fun, really quick and simple project for you. It is a little pouch and as you can see on it, it says Christmas tea. But what I wanted to do before we start making it, I just want to show you this square that I've made using the new stitched framelits dies which are brand new. They're not in any catalogue but they are so amazing that Stamping Up have released them early. They are going to be in the summer catalogue next year but because as I said they are amazing Stamping Up um, have released them so we can get our hands on them now. And just look how they make that simple square of real red cardstock really pop out. So we'll see more of them as we make the project but I just wanted to show you them now because wow doesn't that just make that little square of red cardstock so much more interesting. Anyway, on to today's project. Stop gushing about how gorgeous um, those new framelits are. It is a little envelope which I made using the envelope punch board and I'll show you exactly how I did that later. And the ribbon and the tag is just a belly band which we can slide off. And inside there is a tea bag and a little tree attachment to it. The idea being, if I bring in my mug, you can make your tea and then this little Christmas tree will just hang over the side. Can you see that? How cute is that? How much fun is that? It's just If you are a tea drinker or you know a tea drinker, I think this is just a really fun little Christmas project. So let's take that out so I can use the tea bag. Um, we will wrap that back up. Slide the belly band back on if it's going to go on easily for me. Yeah, I think so. And I'll show you exactly how I made it, okay? Right, there we go. So, let's start with the tea bag itself. Move the mug out of the way. It is clean, yep, yeah, it is clean. Um, so, we are going to use the Peaceful Pines stamp set. And this comes with some gorgeous matching framelit dies. We're going to start by taking this this stamp set here, the one that kind of looks um, like a stylized tree and some garden green cardstock and some matching garden green ink and I'm just going to ink that up and then stamp that twice on my cardstock there we go and then I am going to use my um, matching framelits, as I said, let me just show you these. So you get three Christmas trees, we're going to use the largest one because that's the one that coordinates with this stamp set. And we also, so we're going to cut these out using this stamp, this die, and then we are going to cut out a, um, a plain die in using the smallest Christmas tree and that's the one that's going to go on the front of our packaging. Now just to speed things up, I have already done that. So let me bring those in. So those are my two trees that I have cut out and there is my smaller one for the front. I've also, I forgot to show you, um, as well as the trees and the decoration for the trees, there's some pots and some baubles. And I've used the star to cut out two stars. Here they are. Um, using some gold foil cardstock. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is take a glue dot. What you need is some tea. So this is um, some Earl Grey tea that I have here. And you need to buy some tea bags that obviously oh, come on a bit of string. But you just want to cut that string off, um, whatever it is attached to, that it comes attached to. And then I'm just going to use a glue dot. Here we go. Let me grab something to get the glue dots off with. Here we go. And I'm just going to put a glue dot in the center of one of my larger trees on the back. And another one a little bit further down. There we go. And then I'm just going to attach my tea bag string and stick it to those two glue dots so that it hangs sort of down the center of my tree. Then a little bit of tombow around the rest of the tree. Okay. And then we can bring in our other die cut um, with the stamped image facing up so we can, so it's basically making it two sided. 
so you'll see the beautiful tree from both sides of the cup and we're just going to give those a minute to stick those down together okay beautiful now to make the little bit that um, allows you to hang it over the cup I'm going to use this word window print oh, excuse my fingers we're doing a lot of DIY at the moment I've been sanding um, sanding some wooden planks and oh, my fingers can you see I've got a big blister on my thumb my nails are just ruined so psh, apologies okay that's all I can say for that and what I want to do is just slide the tree in now they're both together and you want to be to the side of the trunk and about what that about, about that much it's about an inch so you can't really see that but a shadow there about an inch up the punch and just punch that out and then that is what will hang over your your mug just like that okay oh but with the tea bag in the cup obviously just like that okay oh not even on camera Caroline hang over your cup just like that and it's just a little bit of fun I'm going to dress it up a little bit as I said I cut out these two stars so we just put a glue dot on the back of one of these okay and a glue dot on the back of the other and then we just bring those together again so that whichever way you look at your Christmas tree you can see the beautiful decoration okay. and that's two-sided okay so that is our tea bag and our tree done now what we need to do is make our little packet for it to go into and as I said I made this using the envelope punch board um, and I will grab that now here it is and I have a piece of designer series paper this is from my constant favorite the warmth and cheer stack you can see this is going down I've been using it a lot but a lot of gorgeous Christmas papers in there really good um, DSP stack this is the envelope punch board if you haven't seen it before it does allow you to make envelopes of a huge range of sizes as well as boxes and lots of 3d projects there is a, a chart here mine is in centimeters but I've switched over to inches but basically you just look at what size your card is and it will tell you how big you need to cut your piece of paper and where your score line needs to be so I know I need my to fit my tea bag nicely I want my card stack to be five and a half inches square what I'm going to do is just going to line it up along these measurements here and you line it up only for your first punch so I need to line it up at two and three eighths of an inch which is there then you're going to punch down, don't knock your camera over, punch down, I can line that back up, two and three eighths, I've already punched, and then there's a groove, you can just see sticking out here, a groove on your board, I'm just going to use the provided scoring tool to go along that groove, turn it 90 degrees, press down, and all we're making, this is exactly how you would make an envelope, turn it 90 degrees and line up this little arrow with your score line and score and then 90 degrees for one last time and again score it down those lines okay so you get a shape that looks a bit like that oh I've forgotten to punch oh so we're just gonna remember every time you need to punch and score and then I'll do that one again so punch and score every time, not like me, don't just score and turn. So you'll end up with four little notches cut out. Okay, oh, crash, crash, sorry about that. And then just going to fold and burnish along those score lines we've just made. And you can see very easily how our um, envelope comes together. What you can also do with the envelope punch board, I put it away a little bit early, is if you insert it into the other side of the punch piece, like this, you'll get a nicely rounded top to your, um, your corner there. So it's kind of like an inbuilt corner rounder. It is an inbuilt corner rounder, isn't it, really? Um, so just pop those in there. Square it up nicely. Just get those bits out of the way. There we go. Okay. Now what we want to do 
you can see how that folds up to make our envelope so we would pop our tea in and of course you could just use some glue to stick it closed but I have made a beautiful belly band from this gorgeous um, stitched edge ribbon which is in real red so I folded that up with my tea inside on my Christmas tree and I'm just going to wrap this round sorry about that my memory card was full I've done this sort of too often recently I keep forgetting about videos that I've filmed and think my memory card isn't going to be that full but huh, never mind um, <laughs> so what I was doing is I was wrapping that real red ribbon around um, around our envelope I'm just going to cut that off to the length that you want and to begin with I'm just going to use a glue dot to keep that in position I had to glue dots a minute ago didn't I there they are Let's get a glue dot on the end there and pull that over there we go okay now as I said I used these new stitched um, framelits let me show you what you get in those stitched framelits you get 12 dies so you get four circles four ovals and four squares really good range of sizes from really quite big to little itty bitty ones we are going to use the middle square so the second largest square for this and I'm actually going to do it on camera so you can see just how easy and simple it is so let me make some space I can slide in my big shot here it is okay just going to pop that down I'm using the magnetic platform of course you can just use your um your, your all-purpose platform for this I've got it because I was cutting out those trees so we're just going to go through the big shot and there we go and I'm going to do it twice but let me show you this it just pops up and look at that with that gorgeous little stitched border how pretty is that really pretty so I'm going to do it twice so that I have one to go so I can sort of hide my ribbon in between them so let's go back through and with these, we cut really nicely. You only need to run it through once, to be honest. And there we can see that has popped out perfectly. I love these. I have been using these pretty much non-stop since they arrived. Um, so expect lots of projects coming up um, using these gorgeous framelits. So I'm just going to slide that underneath my ribbon like that. And then take my second one and a bit of Tombow top and bottom. And I'm going to stick that on top of the first one, but sandwiching the ribbon in between. Okay, it's going to give that a second for that glue to dry. Okay, and can you see how that just really lifts that simple square to be something really quite lovely and special just by putting that dye around it what I found is that you know when I would maybe layer up two colors um, to give a bit of interest to a sentiment for example you really don't need to do that when you're using these dyes um, yeah you're gonna see a lot of them because they are they I just really think they are a really gorgeous way of really dressing up a simple shape so let's finish decorating our box so we're going to use our this Christmas tree. I'm just going to put some Tombow on the back of there too. And this really fits quite perfectly um, into this frame. Just going to do that like that. Can you see? Just fits perfectly the right size. I just let it hang over the edge a little tiny bit. Just checking I didn't put any Tombow on the back of that bit. I didn't, lucky me and then I've made the words Christmas tree as you can see in the example and after I did this I thought mm, it would be really good maybe you could do all oh, Christmas tea or oh, Christmas tea yeah nice little pun <laughs> so I've got the words Christmas and the word tea that I have stamped already using the fabulous um, stamp set that I can't find it's called labeler alphabet I have it somewhere I got it out to show you um, where can I have gone? It's called, it's called Labeler Alphabet basically and you get two different types of alphabet. That's annoying me. 
there's not even that much on my desk we're very clean and tidy today so where's that gone how bizarre how bizarre mm, i'll find it in a minute but anyway i am um, stamp the words christmas tea and i'm gonna move, then stamp stick these down with a bit more tombow on the back or you could use i think on my example i might have actually yeah i did i used dimensionals on the example to pop it up so that looks lovely too I'm just going to stick that down. One and two. Oh, oh, now I'm getting tumble all over my fingers and I can't pick this little tiny one up. Oh, that blister on my thumb is hurting. Ha, huh, nearly done. You're right, this is a bit of a mission, isn't it? This video, okay. And there we go. How cute are they? Two little, really fun little um, Christmas tea gifts. Hope you enjoyed my video today. If you would like to buy any Stampin' Up! products, it really would be my honour to help. You can shop online at craftycarolinecreates.com or you can get in touch and it would be my pleasure to place an order for you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.